Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the very first cleaning video in our new home in Arizona. We are, I would say, probably 80% unpacked. We are going to do our best to get everything cleaned up. Of course, I'm gonna start in our new kitchen and move into the living room. Oh, and we also got some new furniture in. So last video you guys saw, we got our new couches, which are totally different than any style couch I've ever gotten before. But we actually found some chairs, so I'm going to be unpacking the chairs once I get everything cleaned up. Also, we got some bar stools that will actually fit because these are like the counter height bar stools and we need bar height bar stools, I don't know. Anyway, we got some that will fit there. We are still looking for more furniture kind of throughout the home, but we have a few things that I need to set up today, but first we need to get cleaning. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. So as you can see, I am just starting out in our kitchen, just kind of clearing off the countertop, starting to wipe everything down and get things looking nice and tidy in our house. It was actually a lot of fun to just film a new cleaning video in our new home, just because it was the first time I've actually done this so far, but it also felt so incredibly good. I cannot tell you guys how good it felt just to get everything looking really nice and clean and everything kind of how it should be now that we are starting to feel a little bit more settled. A majority of things are unpacked minus of course my office which is like a whole nother story and we have like our guest room drop zone so we're still kind of waiting on some furniture pieces to arrive which will help me definitely get a little bit more organized but as far as like the day-to-day -day stuff everything is unpacked and it's feeling so 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 good you guys will have to let me know how long it takes you to get like totally unpacked whenever you move for us it kind of depends but it's usually about a month or so until we're pretty much unpacked and then of course there's like a few straggler boxes here and there that kind of stay packed up, tucked in the corner for a couple months maybe. But my goal is to not really let that happen in this house and just get everything unpacked as quickly as possible. But it is definitely hard when there is so much to do. You guys will have to let me know what video you would like to see next. Like I said, there's so much to do. There's so many different projects that we have planned, but I think the two different ones that I'm kind of going towards for next week's video is either going to be a patio makeover. If you saw our most recent vlog on our vlogging channel, you saw that we were kind of looking for different patio furniture and I actually ended up finding some. So I have everything that we need to do our patio makeover out back. And I'm also hoping to just do like some basic decorating around the house and kind of get things a little bit more cozy around the home. So let me know if you would rather see the patio makeover first or just like random decorating throughout the house. Either way is totally fine, but I would love to hear your vote down below.
the places you've been and the people you've met won't you tell me again how you lost your way when you found the wind babe i don't know what to say i miss you when you're gone so I would love to get your advice and your insight on a few things. So we are planning on kind of redoing our kitchen a little bit, but we definitely want to do it on a budget. I think the bones of our cabinets are pretty good, but the hinges are not great. And the finish on the cabinets is actually kind of coming off and cracking in spaces. And so we definitely want to kind of like redo that a little bit. I'm thinking that I'm just going to be painting the cabinets and I'll probably just keep the existing hardware just because I really do like that style of hardware. But lately I've just been trying to figure out different ways to lighten the house a little bit and one thing I was thinking about is doing like a two-toned kitchen but not necessarily on the cabinets but actually changing out the countertops on the island basically we would end up keeping the countertops on the exterior of the kitchen but then on the island I would end up changing out the countertops for something a lot lighter I feel like it would end up brightening the kitchen a lot but I just want to get your guys thoughts on like do you think that would look really weird or do you think it could look really cool I'm kind of torn it just depends on what day I'm thinking about it but let me know your opinion on that in the comments below. So if you've been with me for a while, you've seen me seal my countertops so many times in our old home. And as soon as we moved in, I noticed that these countertops have not been sealed in quite a while, I don't think. They were just not super shiny and they weren't beating up with water. And so I thought this would be a great opportunity to go ahead and seal my countertops here again. So I am just using the Wyman's Granite and Stone Sealer. I have used this for years and I love it. And I will go ahead and link it down below, but you can usually find it in store at Walmart as well. But all you're going to do to start out is make sure that you are starting with a clean countertop, of course, and then go ahead and liberally spray your countertops with your sealer and let that sit for about five minutes or so. And then once it's sat for five minutes, you can go back and just wipe it off with a dry cloth in a circular motion, and then they are good to go. This is something I do every six months or so to our counters, and it ends up making them look way nicer and I feel like they get cleaned a lot easier as well. So if you have granite countertops or stone countertops, I would definitely recommend looking into this. So I can follow you, give me a group, something that's new. I'm gonna break it down, raise the roof, do the sound, ready or not, taking a shot. I'm a 
all right the kitchen is looking so good it has not looked this good since we moved in so the whole kitchen is finished and cleaned but if you can see back there i have the butler's pantry to do so i think i'm just going to quickly tidy the butler's pantry and i'm actually not going to seal those countertops today just because there's a lot on them and i'm going to save that for another time um probably once these like totally are done and then i'll move kind of things over here but once I get the butler's pantry done I think I'm gonna go ahead and change out our bar stools and show you the new bar stools and then we'll move on to the living room and once I get this clean I can take out the new chairs for here and just continue on but this is so motivating just to see the kitchen so nice and clean and see those like, countertops really shine now that they're sealed and everything <sighs> it's pushing me on the motivation is definitely going good right now Life is so crazy when you've got so much to lose but when i'm with you there's nothing i have to prove same castles in june same castles in june no clouds overhead and nothing to block the view same castles in june same castles in june no time but right now not looking great they came and I'm gonna show you but like they're totally wonky I don't even know I might have to wait for Kyle to get home and see if he can help me with this but I'm gonna do the best I can but I'm pretty sure they got Ben and shipping and I'll probably have to talk to Amazon to see if they can send like some replacements or something but we'll see if we can make it work so like right here you can see like they don't really even come together they kind of do but then this is the biggest issue it's like this side goes up and then this side goes up that way. And I'm like, according to the picture, they're supposed to be flat and straight. So I don't know if maybe Kyle can just like bend it. I don't know. We shall see. Something is definitely wrong with the chairs, so I've set them off to the side, and while I wait for Kyle to get home and hopefully see something that I'm missing or be able to fix them, I'm just going to move on into the living room and get this all cleaned up so that we can hopefully get our living room chairs set up since apparently the dining room or the breakfast bar stools are kind of a no-go right now. So let's just keep on keeping on. And I was so frustrated with these chairs. I called him and I was like, just come home now. I'm like so irritated because they're like so wonky. 
And so Kyle gets home and what did you say? Well, <laughs> these are obviously not the right pieces. You have an A with an A. Yeah, Kyle's like, well, are two A's supposed to together, go together? This is a B, so I bet money when we put this the right way. <laughs> You're so good at so many things, building furniture. Before I called him, I was thinking in my mind, I'm like, maybe I'm just building this wrong. And I was like, nope, it definitely is like way warped. And then like the boxes came perfectly. And I looked on the reviews, like all the reviews were good. So I was like, I have no idea, but I was like taking pictures of it so I could let them know, like I need a replacement. And then Kyle gets home and he's like, nope, you just put two lefts together. And that's why they all look funky, so. Now we're gonna grab a right piece to go with the left and <laughs> see if it works, I'm sure. Yeah. have our chairs in and we also scooted that couch out a little bit and we scoot that one out just like maybe like six inches or so maybe it's a little more but we kind of scooted those out a little bit and i feel like it's looking like a more formed living room however it looks very unfinished still because we are planning to put like a big rug in there also we want to get like a really interesting coffee table um, and then i also did order some poofs like ottoman pieces to go in front of these two chairs and then I also have pillow covers. Some I have and then some I ordered and I have tons of pillow forms, you guys know, so I'm just going to end up like swapping those out. I think I'm gonna put like more darker ones on these ones. I'm not really sure. I think I'll probably take that white one out and then I wanna put some darker pillow covers on here just to kind of like bring some dark tones into the furniture and then probably like a light, a light rug, I think. So anyway. I'm not sure. I think it's still good. I think I still love it, but it's hard to see like part of it put in and then it's like very, it's missing a lot in here. So I don't know. I really do think I like it. It just takes me a minute to get used to things that I'm not really used to yet. And especially seeing like just half of it done kind of thing, it's kind of throwing me off, but Kyle loves it. I think I do love it too. It's just like a totally different style. So I'm actually gonna turn you around so you can see like the full thing and then you guys can let me know what you think. Also, once we get like 
better lighting in this room and once we get the walls painted a lighter color and all the decor put in, it'll look more put together too. But anyway, I'll turn you around and show you what we are dealing with at this moment. So one comment that I got a lot during our house tour is how I was planning on dusting these tall shelves and this is what I ended up coming up with was just a really long extendable duster and it's ended up working really great and I also figured it would work great on our blinds which it definitely did. I don't know when the last time these were cleaned so I definitely wanted to just take advantage of this time and make sure to clean everything including the blinds and then the windowsills but kind of a side note is I just have so many different areas to decorate in this house and kind of style so if you ever have any good ideas I would love if you would send me a message over on my socials either on Facebook or Instagram I would love to hear like any ideas you have see any pictures you might have or any links to share I always love hearing your guys's ideas and just kind of seeing the designs that you think of and a lot of times they kind of inspire me in different ways on how I end up decorating so if you guys have any ideas leave them in the comments message me on my socials I would just love that so much So a lot of you noticed that I was using a new vacuum in my last video, which was my unpacking video. And this was something I ended up getting when we moved into the new home, just because we had so many hard floors in the house. I knew I wanted a cordless vacuum. I do absolutely still love my Apex Uplight and I've actually used it a lot in this house still, but sometimes it's just really nice to have a cordless vacuum. And especially with having four cats and a dog and three kids, and just you know daily life happening here it's really nice and convenient to have a cordless vacuum and especially because we don't have rugs or anything like that set up yet i've just noticed so so much hair and so i figured a cordless vacuum would be really well used here and i did a lot of research just kind of figuring out which one would be great you guys know i love my shark apex uplight and so i wanted to find something really similar to that but just in a cordless version and that is where i found this one so i will go ahead and link the one that i got down below but so far i am loving Loving it so, so much. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you guys. So Noah just woke up from a nap, which he usually doesn't take naps, but he sometimes does and he had fallen asleep. And he woke up and saw the new chairs for the first time. And he walked up and he was like, oh my gosh, mom, I love these new chairs. They're so awesome, I love them. And I was like, oh, I'm glad you like them. And then I showed him the bar stools. And I was like, look, we got new bar stool chairs too. And he was like, oh, I don't really care about those, but that's fine. But I love these chairs. 
so apparently Noah's a fan of those ones and not so much of these ones. He didn't even like sit in them yet. He just was pretty much entertained with or interested in those ones. But anyway, what I actually came on to tell you guys is I actually got a new mop. I have not tried it out yet, hence the packaging. And I actually got this back when we were still living in Utah, but I didn't open it up just because I was like, we're about to move and unpack or pack everything up. So I decided to wait, but we're gonna try it out today and see how it works. So I've been using this mop for about a week now and so far I'm super impressed. I really loved the extra floor pads it gave because it's able to be reused and it just makes it really nice when one's in the wash, you can be using another one. So I just loved that aspect. And it also gets your floors really, really clean. I think that if I'm just doing like a super quick spot clean, I think I would end up choosing my e-cloth spray mop just because it's really quick to use. There's not really any setup for it. But I think anytime I'm doing like a full on mopping where I'm doing like multiple rooms like this, this is definitely going to be my go-to just because it's so easy and it really does get your floors exceptionally clean. So if you are in the market for a new mop, I would definitely suggest this one. I will link it down below, but I'll also have it saved in my Amazon favorites, which is always linked in the description box. It is the next day. I ended up running out of lighting, which that's one thing about this house. We actually have to do a lot of lighting throughout the home. Like in this room, it's a pretty large room and there's only this one light on the fan. And so basically anytime we don't have like great lighting from outside, there's just not good lighting, especially for filming. And so we do need to focus on that soon enough. But now that it's the next day, we are going to be focusing on our master bedroom and then also our master bathroom as well. And one of the things that I really wanna work on in here is actually unpacking these last two boxes. Of course, just like tidying things up and our bed, I just found like random sheets because I can't find like our good sheet set or our comforter. So hopefully I will find that one of these days in one of the random boxes. I'm sure it was one of the last things that got packed, I guess, but anyway, we're just gonna make do with what we have right now. It's not gonna look as nice as it hopefully will once I find everything, but we just have a lot to get done. And I also have some things that I have to run do this afternoon, so I only have about an hour to get everything done. Our bathroom really is, 
<laughs> I say it's not really that bad. It's I feel like it'll get picked up quickly. But one thing that I really want to focus on in here is actually cleaning our glass shower doors. We have never had glass shower doors. We did for like, you know, a few weeks or something in our last house. But if you have really great tips on how to maintain glass shower doors or just keep those clean, let me know in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it because otherwise I'm just going to be experimenting until I find something that I love. So anyway, enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and get on into cleaning. So once I got the bed made and everything, I really wanted to finish unpacking these very last two boxes in our bedroom. I don't know what it is, but as soon as I get like functional in the house, I feel like my packing motivation goes away so quickly. Like I'm like, oh, it's fine. I don't need to unpack those last five boxes. So now I'm just really trying to tackle each room specifically now that we are pretty functional and any time that I have just like a couple boxes here and there, I'll try to take like 30 minutes and just finish unpacking those. It ends up not really taking that long, but it's just kind of like a mind block thing. So while I was tidying in this room, I just went ahead and focused on the last few boxes and got them unpacked. Also, I am so excited for our bedroom makeover. I don't really have plans as to when exactly we're gonna get around to doing it, but I do have some ideas on how I want to style this room and just how I want to paint it and make it over. I'll put up a picture right here that I shared over on my Instagram recently of kind of how I'm trying to do this back wall. Of course, if you guys have any other ideas, let me know, but this is kind of what I'm set on right now and I'm so, so excited just to kind of see it come to life.
Oh my gosh, I am so impressed with how well the Dawn Power Wash Spray worked on this. A lot of you guys had actually recommended me to try that like a while back. And I know I asked for suggestions, so honestly, if you still have other suggestions, definitely leave them in the comments. But I can now officially suggest this to you guys. It worked really, really well. I did have, um, it was like a walnut scrubber sponge actually from the Grove Collaborative website. Um, I just cut it in half. That's what I use like on my dishes a lot. But this worked so, so well. So it had like a slight abrasion, but nothing that would scratch. And I just sprayed it on, scrubbed it off, rinsed it off. And then I did finish it off with my glass and polishing e-cloth and that worked really well. So now that we have everything nice and tidy, I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum the floors and also mop them because this is basically how all of our bedroom looks because of like coming in and out of the pool and we have a salt water pool so it just leaves a lot of like residue on the floor. So let's go ahead and tackle those floors and I think we're gonna be done for the day, yay! Taking all the sunshine, bottle up the rain Go where the wind blows, let it show the way Open all the windows, let in all the light You can pull the stars down, paint the perfect sky So go and write your song The world will sing So that is everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope it gave you tons of cleaning motivation and just enjoyment hanging out with a friend. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on all of the new house content that I have coming your way. I am so excited to just share everything with you guys. I know it's going to take a little bit of time to get everything done, but I'm just kind of enjoying the process and I hope that you guys are also enjoying the process and just kind of coming along with us. And also make sure you're subscribed over on our vlog channel, which is just Kyle and Amanda. Any videos that don't make it on this main channel end up going over there, just like really casual with us getting things done around the house. But definitely make sure that you're subscribed to both channels. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have the most amazing day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.